Hey guys, welcome to YouTube Sunday School with Centenary United Methodist Church. This is our Sunday School kickoff for the year, and we're going to start right back in the very beginning of the Bible, the very, very, very first. We're going to start in the book of Genesis, and we're going to look at the stories that show us God's love for us. Uh, there, Some of these stories are going to be kind of sad and, and, and show us ways that... Um, we as people have not honored and glorified God, but there also be some that are adventures that show um, how we as people get ourselves into some fixes too, but it will show over and over and over again God's love for us. So here we go. We're going to start back in the beginning with the story of our creation. So listen carefully. In the beginning, God made heaven and earth. At first it was empty and dark. So, God gathered up the light and called it day. He gathered up the darkness and called it night. God watches over everything. On day two, God divided the air from the water. He put some water above the air and some below it. He named the air sky. On day three, God was busy making puddles, oceans, lakes, waterfalls, rivers, and the dry ground too. He made so many different kinds of plants trees, flowers, and bushes, no one could count them all. God said his work was good. On day four, God put the sun in the sky to warm the earth by day, and put the moon and the stars in the sky to shine at night. Then God made spring, summer, fall, and winter. All that he made was good. On day five, God made starfishes, octopuses, whales, and turtles. He made fast little fish for rivers, and slippery big fish for the ocean. He made big birds like eagles to soar in the sky, and zippy little birds like hummingbirds. He made birds in all shapes, sizes, and colors. On day six, God made the animals, puppies, cows, horses, kitties, bears, lizards, mice, worms, and lots more. Everything was good. But something was still missing. There were no people. So God made some. He made them to be just like him. He did this so they would become friends with him. All right, guys, what a great story that was. What a wonderful one. And let's, 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 let's look a little deeper into the story and think about everything that God did for us in, during that um, time of creation. First thing he did is out of nothing, absolutely nothing, he created our world. And he made light and dark. And then the next day, he goes about making the sky and then the water. So we separated the sky from the water. And then the third day, he makes the land. And then God begins to fill everything. He filled it with trees and plants and flowers and just everything imaginable. He filled it just to make this world beautiful. 
And then he began to fill it with the water, with the fish and the birds and everything that he could possibly imagine, you know, octopuses, um, crabs, whatever that went in the water and then whatever went in the sky. So God filled the water and he filled the sky. And he also filled the sky with the sun and the moon and the stars and the planets. And the sun, you know, had a purpose other than giving us light. It gives us warmth. And he purposefully put all those things there. But, but look at the way he did it. He did it step by step by step. And at the end of each day, he looked at it and he said, it is good. So he was pleased with what he had created. In his mind, it was perfect. And then the next day, he goes about filling the earth, the land, with the animals. All different kinds of animals. Every kind that you can possibly imagine. Our pets, our, um, uh, the, the, zoo, the animals we see in the zoo, um, lizards and snakes and um bugs and, and everything that you can imagine. He begins to fill the earth with that. And that is that day. And again, he said, it is good. But then God looked around and he felt that things were incomplete. And so he decided that it was time to make man. So God came down and with his own hands, he created man in his image. And then God blew his breath into man to give him life. And then God decided that man needed someone, a companion. So he created woman. So God created the people. People. And the first people were named Adam and Eve. And we'll talk a little bit more about them next week. But God was busy. But again, he did it in a very purposeful way. And at the end of each day, he sat back and he looked at what he did and he said, it is good. And he did all of this because he loves us. Everything that was there was to reflect him and to reflect his glory. But it also was for us for us to enjoy, for us to have as part of our lives. So it's, it's truly a love story. Creation is truly a love story for us. Truly, truly, truly. Next week, we'll look at Adam and Eve a little bit deeper, and I look forward to talking to you about that. That's kind of where the story gets a little sad, but, um, you know, God has still taken care of us in, in the midst even of, of sad stories. So I look forward to seeing you all next week. Hope you have a good week um, and hope to see you soon. Bye.